King of the journeyman, Mr. <laughs> yes, Mr. Like Jamie Quinn. Because um, I think that's that's official that now, mate, because Mr. Pucci has just retired. Yeah, it's because no one wants to fight him no more. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, he's, he's caused quite a few upsets over the last few months. Mm. Um, but you are you are one of those, I mean, I think you're on, I'm not sure you're going to check, but... 154, 54. I think, yeah. I think there must have been about 30 or 40 of them on our shows, mate. Yeah, no, at least. And in fact, I was at you when you made your professional debut, mate. I know, yeah, I remember. At Wizard Show Forum. Yeah, I remember you interviewing yeah. me after. Oh, did I? Did yeah, I? yeah. I remember. Yeah, it was just starting out. Dragged me away from my crowd for an interview. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I was just asking you before, and uh, I didn't realise you never really started your journey on the road. I mean, that was a home fight for you. You won yeah. it. Um, and then you got an opportunity to, to fight someone at last minute and uh, that's how your journey started with, with Mr Pennington yeah, going all over the country. Pretty much because um, I thought at first I said I uh, wanted to be a prospect, even Steve said to us that if I was you I wouldn't go on the road. But, yeah, um, Steve would, yeah. Yeah, but my, my second fight um, I struggled to sell the tickets, all, all my crowd was at Park Life. And <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, like, even if I'd have got enough um, Money, you know, to pay for my opponent. I, st I, I, I still would have been fighting for nothing. That's not what I turned over for. I always said that um, I just wanted to make a living off it. Yeah. Not asked about having my names in lasers and all that. But um, obviously, it's nice. But um, yeah. So the well, well, how long did it take for you to, to accept, accept it. that? Yeah, because I think after about after about four fights, because um, my, my second one, I'm not gonna lie, I got a bit of an idea. Um, I thought cause, um, I got through my first one pretty easy. And then I had a look at um, my opponent, I thought, uh, George Thompson he was called, but um, yeah, I was new to the pro game at the time and it proper opened my eyes that, but then I was uh, one win, one loss, um, but then obviously I got the envelope with the money, so I thought I could, could, get, could get used to this, that, that, that's how the game gets you, yeah, yeah. but like I said before, so I just wanted to make a living off it and my third fight was against Lee Appleyard, that was quite close, um, but then it, again it's another loss. But I think, yeah, when it got to about three losses, um, one win, I thought, well, so it's a long way back from there, isn't it? Yeah. So, and I, I think I was still always um, trying to compete with it at first. And then it just got, let's like say, the game just gets older, you're a bit. I thought, it's like I, can, I can make good money doing this. Well, you that make more just keep, money just than, than a prospect does yeah. anyway, you yeah. know. And even if a prospect gets to a British title yeah. level, you know, because you're fighting, I mean, you, you must have been They fighting. get up the ladder, but they can always get knocked back down, can't they? Yeah, but, yeah. but you, you must have averaged, what, about eight years now as a pro, is it? Eight years, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you must have averaged, if you look at that, around about 20 to 25 fights a year. Yeah. I think I think I'll um, definitely just gonna go for 200 and retire it then because I don't want to stay in boxing too long. Yeah. Well, I've still got a few marbles left. <laughs> no, no, you never had any marbles. <laughs> uh, but, but, going back, right back to, you were a good amateur, mate. You had, what, 70 odd fights? Yeah, amateur? 70 odd fights. Um, I won the um, Northwest region twice. Uh, one year was a bit of a walkover, but I'm still gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> But but you know what I'm saying. So so it, it was a it must have been hard because you came into this this game like there's a lot of people that are turning over now that are turning over and that's their whole ambition is to be to, to a journeyman, journeyman. And yeah, make it, money. But, you and know what? That, that was never heard of when I turned over that. I don't, I don't think so. That, but I think a lot of people are knowing like how how the game works now. I'm not going to say too much, but uh, yeah. So a lot of people have seen that it's a you know, they, they can make good money doing it. But, but you're one of those guys that, you know, like I say, you, you must have fought on the VIP show 30, maybe 40 times in your career. Um, certainly, certainly a lot of times. And, and you're still a genuine test for our your fighters. You know, the guys who are 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 0. Oh, you're the guy that, you're the acid test. You're the guy that, if they can't beat you and beat you well, then we've... we've Cast out in our minds. Asking questions on them, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and that's what I love about you. you. You always bring a good, solid game every time. Sometimes your game's right up here. Sometimes, you know, you can see that you're tired and you're like, yeah, well, you know. Well, so I like to live my life as well, Lisa. But when, when you're fighting every week, you can't be like, 
you, you're not always going to be on form every week. Like, say no, if, if you say if you fight every couple of months, then you've got to make sure it's uh, as you t to be on form on that night. To but, peak for but, that one fight, yeah, but, you've got to peak but, every week, don't yeah, you? Yeah, but sometimes if you fight every week, it tires you out. Like um, I, I used to wake up sometimes, uh, but I still do. Like you just, I don't even feel like I've been in a fight. Like. And then other times I wake up I feel like I've been run over. But, but mm. you, you, you're a guy that does all the different rounds, you're not just a four round of fight. Mm. You know, you're a guy, that's what I'm saying about your level, your, your level of your your skill set is is that you are that good test. You know, the guy that we think is ready for a title, you still can get in with him, you still get in with him and, mm. and prove whether he's ready for it mm. or not. I've had, um, I've had a few title shots on your shows, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, like, I remember when you fought, you know, Steve Mayer, it's, um, it was an eight-rounder. Yeah, um, but I've done a few eight-rounds. Um, what was his name? Oh, um, Jake Bolger. Jake Bolger, yeah, yeah. yeah Jake, yeah. yeah. And you, you were only close, didn't you? So yeah, you it was quite close. I, I knew he was, um, he's a dead bu busy boxer, Jake. I, I watched him, um, I think we fought in the amateurs and all, I can't remember. But, um, yeah, just, I knew we weren't going to outwork him, but I thought, I'm, I thought I was stronger than him. I thought I'd go out, but I was just really busy in him. Well, so I think he's you a nice lad and all, Jake. I had a, had a chat with him after. <laughs> I think you could have a page in Zelfa Barrett's book, you know, mm -hmm. Zelfa, fingers crossed, makes it to uh, back to world title level. Mm -hmm. and I'm I, sure I, think, I think he will. He certainly deserves it, doesn't he? Yeah, he's brilliant. But a fantastic performance. For, um, like I say, uh, picked up a little injury in that final round and it all came crashing down. But... You were a guy who fought him twice early on in his career, yeah. and uh, the first time it was really close, wasn't it? 39, 38. Yeah, I think that was my, um, I think it was my fifth and my sixth fight then. Yeah. I was thought I was a lot more ambitious back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but, but like I said, you, you've learned from that, and you've learned really, really quick. For someone who's, who didn't decide to do that, you have learned quickly, uh, and I mean, what in 100, what, 130. Two thirty-four yeah. losses or something like yeah. that. Uh, six times you've been stopped. Yeah, yeah, and a few of them have more, uh, been more um, recently as well. Like, through faults and me all. But yeah, I'm looking like to, just just to get back in, uh, get in the gym this year. Have, have another busy year. Well, how old are you now? Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah. So what do you? Have? So I'm not, two, I'm, not, I'm, not quite, I'm not quite over the hill yet, like. <laughs> two, three years. Uh, yeah. So um, yeah, say two, three years or something. Because you, you, it, it is um. It is starting to get harder than, than it was yeah. now, but I still think I can compete with these youngins. Well, you, you're proving it all the time on our shows. Like I say, you're, you're the guy that if Steve wants to test his young prodigies, mm. then uh, yeah, you're the man that we, we bring in because we know you're going to give him either a good four or a good six rounds. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, you're always a pleasure to watch, mate. Like you said. Absolutely. Um, and uh, it was nice to catch you. Doing a bit of bag work there, mate. Yeah, yeah. Was that, uh, was that extra? Was it because the camera was on? A bit, yeah, oh. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I went like as soon as you turned around. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, uh, and this is your, your home as well here because we're at uh, Matthew Hatton's place. Yeah, but and you this, train this, out of here, don't you? You yeah, do this, your this, personals here. Yeah, this is where I've been working. From, um, How long has that been going on? Oh, about two and a half years now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's dead good here, like, the, the atmosphere is always good, you can get on with all the lads of the class. So it's just, um, we'll say this, um, since it's going out, I've got a January sales deal on now, so the sessions are 20 quid rather than 30 quid, stalled in January. But yeah, it's starting, um, it's starting to pick up again now. And when you do some rounds with uh, Young Campbell for a few weeks ago? Um, yeah, I think yeah, before Christmas that was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can see how he's progressing. Yeah, yeah, he's come on loads, Campbell. I remember... Um, I remember when he was a, when he was a kid. Um, Did he uh, box at your amateur club? Right? Yeah, Just well, um, he, he come down to Northside first while I was there, yeah. and then um, well, I, I was always back up from Northside and um, and Rice. But where, did you, where was your amateur club then? R you Roy Richardson's. Well, it was uh, Bradbury uh, yeah, Stockport. Yeah, it's it called Bradbury Stockport when I was there. Yeah. But yeah, and he, he started boxing there again, Campbell. I remember um, we, we used to used to spar with him when he was younger. There, yeah. we used to have to take it easy. And I remember uh, a few years ago, Matt asked me like, for, for come up a bit of sparring. He come in, I mean, he was fit as a butcher's dog, I thought, where's he come from? He's, he's but, so, so yeah, he's, 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 al he's always progressing all the time, isn't he? But, but you're, you're, you're always in great shape, mate. Mm. You know, whether you're fighting at, you know, whether you're fighting at super featherweights or super lightweights, mm. you know, you never look small. Is that something mm. I've always been in good shape? Yeah, yes. You know, one way. <laughs> <laughs> 
I remember you had a full head of hair as well, mate. Oh, I know, yeah, they were the days. <laughs> <laughs> don't miss it, me, mate. I know, neither do I. I just, I just wish it had stopped growing at the side. It does me have nothing to shave it every three days just to keep it. Starts looking daft when it starts coming up at the side. I'm just glad that I've only got light hair, otherwise I'll have to shave it every day. I mine being grey, yeah. you can't tell whether it's growing back or mm. not. I never even get a five cut shadow no more now. No. Because, at least you uh, can grow a full beard, eh? <laughs> Upside down, Ed. <laughs> yeah, that's me and me as well. Um, listen, Jamie, it's always a pleasure. No doubt you'll be on our shows all the week because we've got 19 books in. Oh, I presume you'll be on a few of them, mate. Yeah, of course. And uh, and I'll be looking forward to Because you know something, not only was it at your first fight, I was at your 100th fight. Oh, no, yeah. Because you and Kaz uh, are saying, didn't you, box yeah, at yeah. Uh, Oldham, didn't you? Yeah, Oldham Sports Centre. And you was home fighter. <laughs> so. We said, um, I, it, um, we had, we, had a, we had a bit of shit happening like, with the sun about that fight. Um, well, that, that stuff for the paper. Um, oh, yeah, I yeah, remember yeah, that. Yeah, it was the like, two worst yeah, fighters yeah, in yeah, the world. Well, or uh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yes, uh, Cass had his, um, his 100 fight on, on the road as well, but yeah, that was his 101st yeah. fight. But uh, if, if he hadn't just had that fight on the road, but obviously he would have missed out on a payday for it, so you can't blame him for that. But that would have been minx. I don't think anyone's ever done that before, and I don't think that that's likely to happen again anytime well, I, I soon. I think he was, wasn't he one of the fastest to make it to Yeah, he, he, well? he was the, the, yeah, the youngest um, the youngest centurion in Britain, Cass was. Yeah. I think um, uh, Seamus is going for the fastest one, isn't he? Oh, he yeah, he's he'll do that easier. Yeah, yeah amazing yeah. tough lad. I just told him if he wants to. Uh, Pick up the occasional win here and there because mm. he's been that fat, you know. Yes, he's certainly just, capable of it, isn't he? Without a doubt, he's, he's just. But when you fight, as you just said before, every week, week in, week out, and it, I mean, that's phenomenal. 50, yeah. 54 fights in 17 oh, no, months yeah. or something. He's, in Crazy. his first year, he's had some career, hasn't he? Yeah. Some first year. He's, um, he, he didn't even, he did, he's not even come from an amateur background either, yeah. Shane. No, no, it was white collar. White yeah, Ben. Collar. He yeah. started, started I, I, bare, bare knuckle first. Well, it wasn't even that good at it either. Mm. Uh, but he's learned and now yeah. he's good enough to turn over some of these yeah, prospects. Yeah. He's to this journeyman been, game like a duck takes to water, hasn't he? He's always, he looks in great shape. Like yeah. Always in great shape. Mm. And uh, I think. Uh, and the main thing with Seamus is enjoying what he's doing as well. He is, he's living, yeah. it. He's living the dream, isn't he, man? Yeah. <laughs> you still living it? Hey? You still living the dream? Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought at, the, at the end of last year, I was like, what am I, what am I still doing doing this? I'm sort of getting old for it now, and I had a bit of a break over Christmas. I'm dying to get back to it. I was going to say, how long does it take for you to not be in the gym and not be in the yeah. ring before you start missing it? Oh, not not long, Lee. Yeah. It's, it's, let's say boxing's good. It's not just good for physical health. It's good for mental health as well. I yeah. have, have a few lazy weeks, mate. I feel like a slob. I feel like I just need to do something. But um, when, when I'm busy all the time, working out everything, I'm thinking, oh, I just I can't wait to have a bit of a break. Mm. But, yeah, I plan on getting busy now for the next four months. I'll have a bit of a break over the summer, like I always do. And you get, go away as well. You go yeah, abroad, yeah. Like, I like to. Like, yeah, no, uh, that's Fonz. That. Oh, Fonz. <laughs> yeah, Fonz yeah. was that one. Yeah, right? Croatia, me. I like to, yeah. But um, yeah, just uh, so over the summer, tend to have a bit of a break. Cause, uh, but I you like, go to the festivals and all that, yeah. which is a bit like him as well. Yeah, isn't exactly. It? So don't buy. Obviously, you gotta have a life, aren't you? Well, well, Music-wise, who do you follow? Uh, oh, you look like my music, Lee. What, 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 is it? what time? Oh, I, I like me happy hardcore, me French got me into anything, me. just love music. Yeah. We're, 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 most, we're, we're more into our drum and bass these days, but yeah. like growing up it was all into like UK hardcore. And, and, um, so what I class as rave? Yeah, ra oh, rave music, yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> You'll have to come with us one time, Lee. No, I'm definitely, <laughs> too, uh, definitely too old for that. Like I say, no doubt I'll catch up with you over the next few weeks. Uh, on one of our shows and uh, good luck and yeah. like I say, I, I, fingers crossed, I hope you make it to that 200 because that's a, a real special achievement mate. Nice one Lee. And then you can join your, your old stable mate in Mr Willie Warburton. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. make it, do what Lee Apple you had, um, um, Lee Connolly's done, yeah. get to 199. 199. And then, then, then 199 the, and out. From, from, the, from yeah. the rest of your life. Everyone will have that. Be the first question ever. Mm. Why? Why did you yeah. stop? Out? It'll so always, that's what's it, happen to it, it'll it, always be it? an excuse to to come back all the way at home. <laughs> show. come on. Yeah, when you're about eighty. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. One more. Yeah, <laughs> come on, get me a YouTuber or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a good chance of that as well, mate. Listen, you take care. Right. See you soon. Nice one, later, man. Bye. For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also. Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.